accuracy of glucose measuring. This video is about a topic that you probably never thought about, like why bread t-shirt is not a thing, or why trains are not everywhere. Between accuracy of measuring glucose, bread t-shirts and trains everywhere, I thought about at least two of those things. By the name of this video, you know that we will talk about the first one. Measuring a glucose level is important, and the accuracy of our devices is super important. So, what do we mean by accuracy? How do we measure it? And why is it important? Cambridge Dictionary defines accuracy as the fact of being exact or correct. But what does that mean when it comes to measuring glucose? So, let's go back for a second. There are two main methods of measuring glucose levels, using blood glucose meters and using continuous glucose monitors. We measure accuracy of both of them using mean absolute relative difference, or as is more commonly known, MART. MART is not the only method of measuring accuracy, but it is definitely the most commonly used. Think of it as the English language of accuracy measurement. It's definitely not the only one, but it happens to be the one that is the most commonly used. Calculating MART is actually pretty easy. You just take the sample of size n of the population distributed to Q by the law of total... You know what? Forget about it. Basically, a lower MART means more accurate. At this point, you're probably thinking, my t-shirts are always covered in food. So, if my t-shirt was made out of bread, I could just tear a piece of it and have a sandwich. This is genius. I will subscribe. Are oh, you probably thinking, there must be some common standards that manufacturers must meet in order to sell their products. Well, to a degree, yes. In 2003, International Organization for Standards, ISO, which has 162 member countries, released a standard which all meters should meet. This standard was later updated in 2013 and the new standard has now been fully implemented. ISO actually makes international standards for most things. And they say that tea should be served in a white teacup and milk should be added after water. So clearly, these people are just insane. So how does ISO define accuracy in blue glucose meters? Let's say you measure your glucose and your meter says that it's 5.0. The new margin of error means that your actual glucose can be anywhere between 4.2 and 5.8. This margin of error increases as your glucose is higher or lower. So when your meter says you are 324 milligrams per deciliter, your actual glucose can be anywhere from 275 to as high as 381 milligrams per deciliter. Now, you're probably thinking, wait, bread t-shirt is still not a thing? Yeah, reality is sad. What you're probably thinking is, wait, so my glucose meter doesn't tell me my actual glucose? It is called a glucose meter. Yes, that is true. Meters have margins of error too. This is actually not that surprising. What is surprising is just how inaccurate some meters are. In 2017, Diabetes Technology Society conducted an independent study of 18 FDA-approved meters, which found that only six meters recorded blood glucose levels as constantly as when laboratory tested. These 18 meters represent approximately 90% of the US commercial blood glucose market. So, there are some accurate and consistent meters like Contour One Next and AcuCheck, Aviva Expert, and some really, really bad ones that failed all tests in this independent study. Blood glucose meters market is very segmented with some truly terrible meters and some great ones. Accuracy of different meters ranges from as low as 5.6 MARD to as high as 20.8. Now, you're probably thinking, last Thursday I was eating some pasta and I had some sauce on my t-shirt. If only I had the bread t-shirt, I could just eat it with some bread. It's impossible to get rid of those sauce stains on my t-shirt. This could save me so much money in washing and so much water and electricity. This just makes so much sense. 
So, what about continuous glucose monitors? These are small devices attached to your body that continuously measure your glucose level. How do they compare to blood glucose meters? Amazingly, MARD of most popular continuous glucose monitors ranges from 8.7% to around 10%. CGM industry invested heavily in the last 10 years on improving accuracy of their systems. With the newest CGM systems like Dexcom G6 or Eversense providing more accurate results than many blood glucose meters. Are there any standards in the CGM world? Well, not really. Sadly, International Standards Organization was too busy analyzing how to make tea properly, but their idea of how to make a perfect cup of tea is just idiotic. Maybe it's a good thing they were busy. The only industry standard has been created in the US with the brand new ICGM classification. ICGM is a standard which defines more than just accuracy. It also defines the communication between devices to create a common communication protocol, but that is a separate topic altogether, which I do want to come back to and maybe even do a video like this one. As of me sitting here, there is only one CGM which has obtained the ICGM classification, Dexcom G6. In terms of accuracy, this standard is in extremely tough to get. Overall ICGM product has to be within 20% plus or minus 87% of the time. For comparison, there is actually one FDA approved blood glucose meter from the independent study of 18 meters, which I mentioned earlier, which hasn't met that. And keep in mind that CGM records data all the time and includes rapid increase in glucose and rapid decrease in glucose and achieving this accuracy 87 percent of the time is incredibly impressive almost as impressive as being able to manufacture oven which is big enough to bake a bread t-shirt bravo rational bravo bravo so what is the point why should you care about accuracy of your glucose monitoring devices well because of a lot of reasons. Accurate glucose meter allows you to make accurate insulin dosing decisions, including proper correction dose. It allows you to treat lows properly and not overtreat. In terms of a CGM, accurate CGM allows HbA1c predictions and accurate time and range statistics. Now, you're probably thinking, well, I better check how accurate my devices are, especially blood glucose meters. That independent study that I mentioned before is linked below and you can and absolutely should see just how accurate your blood glucose meter is. If your meter is not found there, you can find information about its accuracy on manufacturer's website or appropriate government website. You can also speak to your doctor to see which meter is the most appropriate to you because accuracy of measuring glucose is important. So when the bread t-shirt is around, we know exactly what our glucose is afterwards. Thanks for watching. I'm not gonna finish that.